Hello and welcome to the IBM Rational Publishing Engine 2.0 Beta, the M5 build presentation. I will focus on the document generator role here and show you what is new and exciting in this build. The first thing that you have to do when you access our beta build is to log in and you can use one of the providers listed on the screen. Now, uh, you need to, to know that we don't actually use any uh, information or we don't actually access any information. The only thing that we do is get a confirmation from the uh, provider, such as Facebook or LinkedIn or, or Google, that you are indeed the owner of the user account. The next thing that you will see is the license term and conditions which uh, contain the text you would normally expect from such a uh, program. If you agree to the terms, you will be taken to the RP Next Gen uh, homepage. As a report uh, generator, as the person that needs to generate documents on a daily basis, you are normally interested only on the generate and view page and much less on the design page. Actually, on, our, on one of our future builds, uh, we will disable the design uh, menu for the uh, users that only have the document generator role. But for now, this, uh, this is actually needed because since the Bluemix deployment, or since on the Bluemix deployment, each end user is completely separate uh, from all the other users, there is, no, there is no report designer to create the report artifacts for you, things like templates and then style sheets and reports and so on and data source connections. So as the first thing that you need to do as a document generator when you uh, access our Bluemix build is to take on the report designer hat for just one second, go to the, the design page and generate the examples. And here is the uh, link to do it, uh, entitled click here to generate the examples. Uh, this might take a few seconds, but once it's done, you will see a confirmation on the screen that uh, the assets were successfully created. And you can look at the templates, style sheets, and the reports tabs that all the data or all the artifacts that you need are indeed there. Once you've done that, you can return to your normal document generator role and go to the Generate tab, where you can choose any of the reports to start with. I suggest starting with the test reports because it's the simplest one. Uh, you click the Generate document and then you are being prompted by RP to provide a value for the ending title variable. This is a, uh, this is a value that, as you will see, will be used in the generated document. Uh, once you click Generate, uh, the co program progress column will uh, show you the progress of your document uh, generation. Act actively, it will indicate uh, if the document generation uh, 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 proceeds uh, uh, and when it finishes. Uh, once it's done, you can get the link uh, to the download documents directly here, and you will also notice that on the top page of the screen, on the notifications area, uh, there is an indication that something happened. There is a new event that uh, you should be aware of, and this yeah. event is yeah. actually the generate uh, the generation completed for your test report documents. Uh, you can access the uh, documents from here, or if you click see all, you will be taken to the view page where you can see more information about this. You can see the the document for the, the report for which the uh, uh, document was generated, the description of that report, when it was run, the state. Uh, you can add tags for this document or you can access either all the documents so if you click on the download documents you will get an access to an archive containing all the uh, output formats selected by, uh, by the report designer for this report or if you use the twist in next to the download documents button you can access the individual uh, results so if I open the PDF document uh, I can see some uh, static text and the test one value that I have provided uh, in my list uh, now I will return to the generate page and generate a slightly more interesting uh, report. Uh, one thing before that is the uh, uh, you should uh, take a look at the last run column. This has changed since our previous build. So now the last run column shows you when a certain report was last uh, executed. You will see that test report was generated a few minutes ago. Well, there is no such record for the requirements document or the news glim glimpse uh, reports. So let me generate the news glimpse uh, report here, and now you see some some additional question being asked uh, by RP, which is what data source uh, should be used for this report. Uh, if you have looked at the uh, help tutorial or 
help uh, PDF for the tutorial that we sh uh, provided with the announcement letter, you would have noticed that we recommend using the BBC World News feed for this uh, RSS data source. Uh, and this is the only configuration that you actually need for your report. Uh, once you're happy with that, you have four options. You can preview the document, which will create you uh, just a, a partial document uh, containing only the first 10 entries from the BBC World News feed. You can generate, which will trigger the document generation immediately, or you can select uh, when to do the doc document generation. You could choose to do it uh, uh, Sunday evening, or you can choose to do it every two weeks, or uh, 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 many other uh, uh, options. For now, I will simply choose to, to generate it right now. And once again, I will notice the progress dialog uh, being shown. Uh, but again, the, the progress dialog actually takes 10 or 15 seconds to, to, to refresh, or, or the, 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 the polling interval is for uh, 10 or 15 seconds. So m usually the document generation finishes much earlier than the progress disappears. Once again, I get also a notification that the News Glimpse uh, report has uh, been completed, and I can go to the view page and access the PDF from, from here. Uh, as you, you would expect, uh, there is a simple uh, page or a simple PDF showing the most recent events that are being covered by uh, by BBC. And before ending this com uh, this presentation, there is one more thing that I'd like to highlight, and that's the ability to view all the generated documents for a given report from the generate page. So if you uh, open the menu next to the generate uh, document button, you have two options: to generate later, to schedule basically your document generation, or the view generated documents, which will show you all the reports that have been generated for uh, for the test report, or if I go to the news glimpse, all the reports that have been generated for this particular report. And in both cases, I have a single uh, I have a single report. This was all that I wanted to show you as, uh, in this video. Thanks for uh, watching, and we are waiting for feedback. And uh, we um, uh, will provide you help and assistance uh, through the email that was providing provided in the announcement uh, letter.